Okay, the rule for finding the direction of the in this current is called Lance law. This definition must be known. So, the rule for finding the direction of the in this current is called A. Faraday's law. B. Lance law. C. Henry's law. So, Lance law is used for finding the direction of the in this current. Okay, what is Lance law tells you? Lance law states that magnetic field of the induced current in a coil, you know, that when you make them approaching or moving away on the coil, there will be an induced current. When you make them closer or when you make them away, so there will be an induced current. Magnetic field of the induced current in the coil or in the satellite in a, is in a direction that opposes the change. This is the keyword opposing the change. In the applied magnetic field of the bar magnet. How can you oppose a change? Change can be two types of change. Increase or decrease. Yeah, there are two types of change we have. There can be an increase, there can be a decrease. If changes increase, how can you oppose it? By decreasing. If changes decrease, how can you oppose it? That is the key for you, in fact. Yeah, if you see that magnetic field is increasing, you have, you try in this magnetic field will try to decrease it. If magnetic field is decreasing, in this magnetic field will try to increase it. This is the keyword for Lance law. Now we are going to apply them one by one. You will get it. But uh, as I said, this method instead of this method, we use the first method. What we did before is the method for finding direction of in this current. We did it. So okay. So now. If a light field is increasing, then change can be, as I said, two types of change. Increasing a light field, and increasing magnetic field of the bar magnet, or decreasing magnetic field of the bar magnet. In the case of increasing a light field, and when I talk at light field, I'm talking about the field of the bar magnet. When field of the bar magnet is increasing, in this magnetic field will you could try to decrease it. So, induce magnetic field weakens. Weakens. The applied magnetic field. Of course, how can you weaken something? By being in the opposite direction. So, by being in the opposite direction of the applied field. In this case, applied field and induced magnetic field will be in opposite directions. They will have different Yes. Then they will weaken each other. Yeah. Yeah, it's the case, increasing case. Increasing, you can make them closer. When, make the, when you make them closer, it increases. But if a light field, the magnetic field of the bar magnet is decreasing, it's the case of when you move it away. Yes. So decreasing a light field. This time, induced magnetic field will support it. It will support. So induced magnetic field supports a light field. How can you support a vector? By being in the same direction. This time they are going to be in the same direction. This is what Lance law is. Briefly, let me repeat again. Magnetic field of the induced current in a coil is in a direction that opposes the change. Keyword is opposing the change in Lance law. Okay, opposes the change in applied magnetic fields. Then magnetic field of the bar magnet. So there can be two types of changes. Increasing applied field or decreasing applied field. If applied field, that is magnetic field of the bar magnet is increasing, induced magnetic field of the coil will try to decrease it by being in the opposite direction. If applied magnetic field is decreasing, this time induced magnetic field try to support it by being in the same direction. This is the Lance law. Now I am going to apply this next law a problem. To a problem. So teacher, the induced magnetic field will try to be in the same direction of the magnetic field of the magnet. If, if, if there is a decrease. Increases, yes. But if there is an increase. That would be in fact, in fact, his, as a result is an important thing. Induced magnetic field try to keep the total magnetic field in a region constant. If this magnetic field of the bar magnet increases, so it becomes opposite in direction. Why? 
it wants to keep the magnetic field, the resultant magnetic field constant. It doesn't want magnetic field to increase in a region. That's why it becomes in the opposite direction if there's a decrease. Increase, it wants to be in the same direction if there's an increase. Because it wants to keep it constant. Yes, this is conservation of electrical energy, kind of. So, as a result, the total magnetic field strength in a region between the magnets and the coil keeps constant according to energy conservation. The purpose of the lens law is this in a region between the coil, in a region between the coil and the bar magnet, right here. So total magnetic field always must stay constant. When I make it closer, is it increasing? So this says that no, you cannot increase. I will make you oppose. I will oppose you. I will keep it constant. If I move away, this time here is the magnetic field decreases. So it says no, you will not decrease. I will support you. And I will keep total magnetic field constant. Now it's a kind of energy conservation. Lance ball. About energy conservation. Now I'm going to give an example. So we will solve it according to Lenz law. We, are not, we can use other methods, but Lenz law we will use it here. So a magnet is receiving. A magnet is receiving. We are pulling it away. Yeah, okay. I will keep this magnet. M is like that. I will pull it away. Okay. When I pull it away, because it is getting away from this region, magnetic field is decreasing. So you know that magnetic field lengths are living from Anna for a uh, magnet. As you see, it is to the left, huh? Yeah. So this red arrow is representing, pardon me, no, blue, sorry, sorry, I said blue is representing decreasing applied field of the bar magnet. Blue is representing decreasing magnetic field of the bar magnet. If it is decreasing, this coil's magnetic field must support it. To support it, they must be in the same direction. Yeah, the blue magnetic field because of the bar magnet and red magnetic field because of the coil must be in the same direction. direction correct? According to Lance law. Now continue. Continue drawing. Is it entering to one pole? So magnetic field enters to which pole? Yes. M pole or S pole? Yes. S pole. This is going to be S. If this is S, that is going to be M. Then we determine the poles. After that, we are going to apply again right hand rule for finding direction of the in this curve. Okay? M pole, left to end. Curl your forefinger. Electric current is from front to back. Front to back. So these red arrows are representing electric current direction on the coils. Front to back. Follow. Follow the loop. It bends back from right to left. Electric current junction. Okay, now, now let's apply it here. Lance law. Only Lance law. Other methods are also possible, but Lance law we are going to use now. This is an approaching magnetic field, correct? Yes. Approaching magnetic field. So N pole is approaching. I will draw it by blue because magnetic field of the magnet is blue, you see that? In here, in here, this magnet produces a magnetic field to the left, correct? Yes. So let's drop it. Is it increasing? Yes. Because of approaching, it's increasing. Increasing, increasing applied field. All right. If applied field is increasing, this magnetic field must try to decrease it. Eh? So that's why this coil's magnetic field in here must be in the opposite direction of the blue arrow. So I will draw it by red. So this is going to be magnetic field of the coil. Induced magnetic field. Induced magnetic magnetic Field. Okay? In which direction it is? To the right. So it is leaving from this end. So the magnetic field lives from where? From north pole or south pole? Magnetic field lives from north. So this is going to be? And pole. This is going to be? S. We determine the poles. Then apply right angle. So, and pole. 
Palm is shown ample. It's from back to front. Back to front. I am going to draw it like this. Arrows. Let me draw the arrows. Is it clear back to front? This is hand pull. Look at my forefinger. It is back to front. So my fingertips are showing that direction. Let me draw them. Let me draw them on the coil. Back to front is represented by these arrows. Back to front. Okay. Follow the loop. Follow the loop. Follow the loop. So it is from left to right. Electric current direction on the resistor in here is from left to right. Okay, and this is a sectional question. Now let's answer this question. A bar magnet is positioned, as you see here, near a coil of wire. So uh, here is a solenoid. As shown to the right, as shown in the figure. What is the direction of the current in the resistor? We will find the direction of the current in the resistor. When the magnet is moved to the left in part A, it's moved to the left. In part B, it's moved to the right. Now, the first one, I am going to use first method without land slope. In the second one, I am going to use land slope. So, the, according to the in this magnetic field we studied, which pole is closer to the coil and pole. Here is and pole is receding. 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 Yani moving away. away. Okay. Moving away. If and pole is moving away, this, of course, there will be in this current, of course, and this in this current will produce poles for the coil. And if it is receding moving away, we said that they will try to attract each other. That's why opposite, unlike poles, will face each other. Yani M will face with S. This is going to be S. This is going to be M. First, we will get the poles. After that, by using right hand rule, I can get direction of the electric current on the coil. Let's, I'm not going to use this one because in the exam you will have your pen. Use your pen. So, this is the N pole. Curl your pen. Look at my fingers. From back to front. My forefinger curls from back to front. After that, I am going to show the electric current direction on each loop. From back to front. Let's do it. Is it from back to front? Yes. Let's look at my fingers. Back to front. After that, follow the wire of the circuit. Follow it. Go without changing direction. Go. What happened? From left to right. Left to right. Left to right. Electric current direction in the coil is going to be left to right. In the resistor. Sorry? In the resistor. Yes, in the resistor. But the question will be about this. They will ask you direction of the electric current resistor. From left to right, from right to left. Different questions, different choices. Now I will do second one, but second one I am going to use land law. Now in second one we are making bar magnet approaching. So bar magnet has its own magnetic field. We know that yeah? external magnetic field is this magnetic field in, in the region between these two devices are to the right. We know that magnetic field is from North. ample. It's going to be right. So I will indicate magnetic field of the bar magnet with blue. So that's indicated by blue. This magnetic field belongs to the bar magnet, but this is increasing. As bar magnet is approaching, this blue magnetic field is increasing. It is increasing, increasing applied field. Now it belongs to the bar magnet. According to last law, if magnetic field is increasing, so it must react, resist is increase. How can it resist is increase? By being in opposite direction. Of course, to decrease that, the magnetic field of the coil must be in opposite direction. I will represent it by red. So this is going to be magnetic field of the solenoid. Not induced magnetic field. Induced magnetic field. 
magnetic field on the coil. Okay, you see that it's leaving from the left end of the coil. Uh, so, magnetic field lines leave from an end pole. This is going to be end pole. This is going to be end pole of this solenoid. If this is end pole, that is end pole. Now, apply a right hand rule for finding the direction of the electric current. Tom is showing end pole. Look at my forefinger. Front to back. It goes front to back. So it's going to be like this. Direction of the electric current will be from front to back. Follow the loop. Follow the loop. Go. Up to the in front of the in front of the loop it's up. But at the back, it must be down. It will go down. You don't see, but it will go down. Go by the wire without changing direction. What happens? From right to left. So electric current direction from right to right to left on the resistor. A bar magnet is dropped towards the floor on which lies a large heap of a conducting metal. So it's just like this. Yeah, okay? there is a ring lying on the surface and we are going to drop a bar magnet. We will drop it. The magnet's length, you mean this length is from here to there, and thus the pulse of the magnet is parallel to directional motion. So when you drop it, directional motion is downward, eh? yeah. This way, length must stay like this, not like that. It will fall this way, towards the loop, not that way, according to the explanations. Disregarding a resistance. Yeah, a, a resistance also applies an opposite directed force of motion. Uh, but we will describe this. Yeah, the only force acting on the bar magnet is gravitational force, and this gravitational force causes this bar magnet to fall down, according to the This Disregard and neglect a resistance. Does the magnet, during its fall towards the ring, towards the ring, move with the same acceleration of the free-fall acceleration? The question is this. If we release this bar magnet alone without this coil, you know, and force acts on it mg, mg is the gravitational force, of course it falls with free fall acceleration, g. But when we put this loop in here, this bar magnet is approaching now, approaching now to the loop. If bar magnet is approaching to the loop, of course this loop must produce a pair of force that repel one another. Remember, in the case of an approaching, they will try to repel each other. What does it mean? So if this is approaching downward, force because of the coil on the magnet must be upward. Okay. So there will be a second force in the opposite direction of Fg. Fg is downward, but there is a magnetic force upward. Uh, what will happen? Of course, net force will decrease, slightly decrease. If net force slightly decreases, acceleration also decreases slightly. 